Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here and today's video is going to be about how to partially change your tortoise substrate. Because once or twice a year you're going to run into the problem that the substrate gets very low because each time you scoop out a bit of poop or dirt um, you're going to get, you're going to take out a bit of the substrate. So my substrate's very low, very very low actually. So today I just went out to buy three bags of sand and I'm going to replace or I'm going to add that to the substrate and I'm gonna show you the steps how to do it to because there is a few steps involved and um, first thing you want to do is take out all of the objects you have in your tank so the hut, the water bowl, the stones, all of this is gonna come out and um, same with the tortoise so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back once I removed everything you'll see what the tank look like looks like then so once you removed all the structures from your tortoise's aquarium and there's only the substrate and the tortoise left you want to prepare a box that you can put the tortoise in while you're doing the substrate change because you're not going to leave the tortoise in the aquarium there's going to be some dust and you don't want your tortoise to breathe that in etc so what you do is you get yourself some sort of transportation box this is for ferrets but it also works for you can also get one that's for cats or anything that closes that a tortoise cannot get escape cannot escape from and it shouldn't be too big your tortoise doesn't need to run around inside of it it's just short, a short holding place for the tortoise that it's secure in and if you for example you take a cardboard box you really want to make sure that the lid you have something to weigh down the lid so that the tortoise can't push the lid off and then you want to put some newspaper on the inside so that you um, so that when the tortoise poops and pees and whatever um, that it doesn't go into your cage so that it stays clean. So I'm just going to grab my tortoise and put it right in there. Please excuse the background noise but I'm not always alone at home so yeah. As you can see my tortoise does not want to go inside of this. See, she fits in there, it's a tight fit. Put on the lid. No escaping. And now she's safe. I'll put her to the side so that she doesn't get injured in the process of me putting the sand in. So, I'm actually going to leave her right there. It's far enough away. Next step is to take out any dirt or wet patches of soil you see in the aquarium so any leftover food I'm going to take um, some of this cocoa husk and straw out because the new sand is going to be wet and if you have the wet sand compacting on the straw that's going to start rotting so I'm going to take some of that out and just search the cage for poop pee, and take all of that out um, what I do is I have a little bucket under my aquarium right here and this is like the dirt bucket, so that's what I'm going to fill with all the dirt. And then I'm going to empty that in the garbage can, do that a few times. And after that, I'll show you the next step. I'll actually first take off those lights, turn them off, put them aside. You don't want them to break. So that's actually a, the next thing to do. After that, take out um, cocoa husks, straw, any of that stuff and leave the sand in though. You only need to do a full change of substrate once a year which would mean taking all the sand out putting new sand in. It takes a lot of time so that's why you, know, you really only need to do it once a year and you just need to fill up the substrate to one, um, one or once or twice a year so you won't actually be doing this a lot but it's necessary so I'll do that and I'll be right back. So now that I um, took out all, well not all, but a lot of the uh, Timothy hay and the cocoa husk, um, I put back my substrate box. Now you might be asking yourself why, and the reason is I um, scooped the substrate underneath it away, all of it, and then put the box there because I don't need sand to be under the box, right? So I'd rather be using that sand in the rest of the aquarium or terrarium whatever you want to call it so I don't know no, you can't see from down there but there's no sand under it so now that you did all of this it's time to add the new sand or your new substrate I know a lot of you don't use sand and hate me for using sand but with adult tortoises really sand is fine I don't know what everyone's complaining about 
So the way you do this is, the easiest way I've found is that you put the bag of sand or the bag of substrate into the ter terrarium, then you cut it open, and then you just pu push it over to the side and let the sand fall out and then pick up the bag and pour the sand that way. So put your bag in the middle of the terrarium, cut it open, push it over, and put the sand into the terrarium that way. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So now that you've added the new substrate, you can see a really big difference between the height you had before and the height you've had after. By just looking down here, the new substrate is always going to be wetter, at least when you buy sand, so you can see the difference between the new and old really nicely. Same sand, but just wet sand and dry sand. And as you can see, my substrate box is in a lot deeper than before and this will actually make it easier for my tortoise to climb it. What I also just did is wetten this earth a lot. I put like a liter of water in there and was just stirring the earth up with my hand and now it's actually diggable again by my tortoise. Before it was kind of dry like the sand so there's no point in it. And now that you have all this nice new sand in it, it's gonna be there like a big hill in the middle. You can either leave that and let your tortoise play around with it. It's kind of nice for the tortoise as well. She'll spread the substrate in the um, aquarium eventually or you can do what I did and just spread it evenly with your hand or as even if you evenly as you want or create a hill on one side whatever you want to do with the substrate and now that you did this it's time to put all your decorations back into the tank and be, watch out though now that you have a higher substrate watch out that if your tortoise can climb on any of its huts that it cannot climb out of the aquarium so be aware of that because I'm, I gotta actually check if my huts are too tall and if that's the case just dig them in the substrate a bit so I'll add all my all my decorations right here and I'll be right back so now that all your decorations are back into place you're basically good to go you can put your tortoise back in now with all, with the new sand which is n nice and moist and just the tortoise will really want to dig in it so don't be worried that next morning and don't be angry at your tortoise that everything's gonna be all over the place that hap this happens all the time when I get the new substrate she digs under the water bowl and one time I actually couldn't see her anywhere because she was she dug herself completely under the water bowl and it took a few minutes to find her and I was really worried so now that you did all of this just go grab your tortoise put it back in and you're good to go I'll do that and I'll be right back so as you can see my tortoise is back in its aquarium with all the new sand and everything and I'm just going to answer a question I got on one of my videos about my UVB light for the tortoise which is this light right here, I don't know if the camera can... there we go so it's a it's a Repti Glow 10.0 UVB lamp so for any of you that are wondering what kind of light they should get what kind of UVB light they should get for their tortoise. The Repti Glow 10.0 is the one I've found to be really good. It's it's strong so you can mount it pretty far away from your tortoise and it just kind of simulates the harsh desert light that you want your tortoise to have. So now my tortoise is exploring its new cage and is running all over the place but which it, it's awesome for the tortoise to have. I mean the setup is the same as before but it's just new and fresh and everything so if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.